Hello, my name is Vern Hool, and I'm from hcsolar.ca. And today, the question on solar is, how do I make an off-grid cabin? Okay, well follow along with me and we'll look at all the components. So all the components that you see here are what we're going to use with this off-grid cabin. Now what you see to the left there is the actual cabin and it works offshore power. Now this is a little bit of a research development project uh, up here in Canada. We're finding in the winter time uh, we have to run our generators. If you're going to live off grid you, you have to pretty well get used to running a generator. So, so some of the concepts are can we uh, do better with wind? Well, wind alone, as you see, our wind is hardly turning today. Uh, we don't get a lot of wind in this location. Uh, but again, this is more for research and development. And the, when, when the wind does go, it's a nice little trickle charge. So if you live in a windy area, for sure wind. So what we have here is a combination of wind and solar. It's a hybrid solution all through one uh, controller, charge controller. So it's a 300 watt wind solution and it comes in different voltages to 12 to 48 volts uh, this is a three-phase wind with the alternator sends out the AC current into the shed and it goes through a controller converts it to DC voltage it's just a battery charger really is what these things are okay so okay so now we're in our little shop here and this is where we're going to make everything happen. So you see off to the left here, we have a 100 amp breaker panel with the extension cord coming into it. And uh, leads coming out of it, running the lights and the plugins. And it's coming down here and we're using an electric heater. This heater will go up to 1500 watts, but we have it set for 750. Presently it's not running. And... Uh, so from the breaker panel, you'll see off to the left of it, you'll see the red and uh, black wires hanging down. One is uh, pre-wired wind, one is solar 150, and you'll see the other one is uh, solar 600 watt. Now we'll go outside and we'll see those exact wires. So here's the back side of our building, and uh, you'll see the wires hanging out here. I uh, even wired a, a light in, but we have our wires hanging out here, our two, two wires. One's our solar, our 600 watt, and the other one would be our solar 100, 150 watt. And the 150 watt one is already tied into a 150 watt panel, and uh, this this is the, uh, the 100 and 150 watt or the 100 watt so the 100 watt uh, we're going to mount it on the back of the shed here and uh, then we will uh, on the other line mount two more panels now the other two panels we're going to steal off this golf cart that we use in the summer and uh, we'll need the extra power for the winter because we're running that heater. So I'm going to take those panels off and we're going to put them on that side of the, the shed. As well, in this golf cart, we have some batteries that are valuable because they're so expensive. And uh, you'll see here that we have three batteries. They're 100 amps each, 12 volts. It's a 36 volt golf cart. So we're going to use those batteries. Okay, so we'll uh, walk through this step by step and uh, then we'll take a look at the real installation of the wall. So first of all, if you're building a, a hybrid wind solar system, really what you're building is a battery charger. So we have a set of batteries and we want to charge them because we want to use the energy from the batteries and invert that to 120 volts. And that'll be another segment hooking up the inverter. So presently, what we're doing is building a battery charger, and that's what the hybrid wind solar is all about. So what we do to, to build this battery charger is we start with our little controller here, 
and we have wind energy hooked up to it. We have solar energy coming into it. We have battery going out to our 12 volt, it's a charger. And there's also another little circuit here called a load. It, it runs a 12 volt street light or a 12 volt light. So let's say you wanted to uh, throw a little light out outside your camper or your cabin and uh, at nighttime when the sun goes down, the uh, little controller senses that and uh, turns on that circuit that would run that 12 volt light. So that's a very efficient way of running some lighting uh, without having to run an inverter. It's all done through this little controller here and it's, it's actually a nice idea. Okay, so then what we do is uh, over here we have our charge controller and uh, we take three wires over here up to our windmill. We'll look at that. It's a 300 watt windmill at 12 volts, this one. You can order them for 24 or 48. And then we're doing 200 watts. Now presently I only have 100 watts installed and we'll show you. Uh, but we're going to do 200 watts and we have to build a... Uh, a parallel bridge outside so we'll uh, we'll parallel the two panels up to bring the 200 watts in and uh, and that'll give us some charge extra charge voltage especially in the winter time we need more more voltage okay so now let's take a look at the equipment on the wall we're going to carry on now with uh, some of our off-grid work right now we we have the uh, wind, hybrid wind solar system going and we have a, a charge happening here of we brought those that battery bank up to 12.9 we're still drawing 1.4 amps which is good we're going to get another solar panel out there we want to get this voltage up uh, as high as we can you know in the 13 especially with the inverters uh, you know dragging that down and uh, we're going to try to run this electric heater throughout the winter do all the lighting in here and and have this building provide all its own power as we move forward throughout the winter we're pulling in some new equipment the new equipment uh, will be a hybrid grid tie inverter so if we make excess extra energy we're going to sell that back to the grid currently at this location we have a tracker and we uh, we have a, gr a grid tie operation going so uh, that's going to be an upgrade that's going to take place uh, with the new hybrid and uh, we're using we're going to be using a, a lithium power wall 10 kilowatt hour and that's how we're going to power the whole farm so we'll demonstrate that in upcoming videos so stay tuned this is just the start at hcsolar.ca and thank you again i'm your host Vern Hool. okay we're at the back of the shed now and you notice the uh, two larger panels to the left, those are the high voltage panels and you notice they're shaded. They have uh, shading in the bottom, but you notice the, uh, the two panels to the right, those are the 100 watt panels. And, and that's what's working in conjunction with the windmill controller, that's the hybrid system. It has just a little bit of shading. Now I'm going to come around just to show you what the shading actually is and uh, that one is a kind of a pole that's in the in the way of the Sun that's causing a bit of shading and down here it looks like this panels causing a bit of shade now we're back inside and uh, the wind controller the hybrid controller is putting out three amps at 14.3 volts and we go over to the high voltage panels and they're putting out 14.2 volts and 3 amps same amperage so the smaller panels seem to be producing exactly the same as the larger panels right now and that is because of the shading the shading is only allowing uh, 43 watts of 600 watts get into the, the batteries so relocating those panels higher or moving the, the shading problem would be a big solution there. So we have this bifacial unit here and we want to get some extra power coming in. So I'm going to make a wood mount for it. 
and uh, we'll get that up on the roof. Okay, we're back in here. So we're still 14.4 on the uh, 200 watt panels, and that's 2.8 amps. Now we're going to come over to the TriStar, see if that improved it any. Ooh, it doubled our wattage and it doubled our amperage just by moving that little bit of shading. 4.6 amps we're up to, and 14.4, uh, 65 watts of that energy we're gaining. So we're getting about 4.6 amps. Down here we have 2.7 amps. So we're getting about double right now.